The Kraft Music Hall will not be presented, so we may bring you a Bob Hope comedy special. Now, a special program in living color on NBC. Alphabetical order, Sid Charisse, Ray Charles, Jimmy Durante, Nancy Sinatra, and Les Brown and his band of renown. An hour of entertainment from Chrysler Corporation, makers of Plymouth, Dodge, Chrysler, Imperial, Dodge Trucks, Simca, and Sunbeam Automobiles. Chrysler Corporation. And now, here is the star of our show, Bob Hope. By the way, tonight we're coming to you from beautiful downtown Pasadena. <laughs> That'll teach NBC to build on a mudslide in Burbank. <laughs> this is really a special. California just fell in the ocean and King Kong is holding me above the water. <laughs> a well-known clairvoyant, Jean Dixon, predicts California is gonna disappear in a flood. Personally, I think she has a leak in her crystal ball. <laughs> Did you know that she predicted that California will fall into the ocean next month? How will they be able to tell? <laughs> now we know what Howard Hughes is doing. He wants a seaport. <laughs> but people are preparing just in case. Chicken Delight just hired 50 skin divers. <laughs> Mickey Rooney bought a pair of elevator flippers. <laughs> and Ralph Williams is selling used U-boats. <laughs> no, if it ever happens, it will be exciting. With all that oil in the water, we'll slide all the way to Hawaii. <laughs> One very religious man in Santa Monica has built an ark. He has two of everything, but he didn't know what to do when he came to Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <clears throat> but... <laughs> For the jockeys out of Santa Anita last week, the whole world came to an end. A girl jockey won a race. Imagine that, girl jockeys. Well, it's certainly gonna make the Daily Double a lot more interesting. <laughs> I guess they've been accepted. The racing form now has a centerfold. In her first race in the starting gate, her horse turned to the one in the next gate and said, Hey, Harry, look on my back and tell me what's it look like. <laughs> and Harry the horse said, Well, Charlie, all I can tell you is that it's wearing lipstick earrings and carrying a purse. And Charlie said, Oh, oh, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> the other day at Santa Anita, the announcer yelled, They're off, and the girl jockey wouldn't come out of the gate. <laughs> Incidentally, if I look a little green, it isn't because of St. Patrick's Day, the Oscar nominations are out. Yes, the Oscar nominations are out, so I know what I'm giving up for Lent. <laughs> I must be getting used to getting left out because I just glanced casually down the list in the paper with no emotion whatsoever. Then my kids bawled me out for getting Charlie Brown all wet. <laughs> I don't feel too bad because a lot of great actors were left out. Gregory Peck, Marlon Brando, Paul Newman, Spiro Agnew, Everett Dirksen. <laughs> no, Cary Grant didn't win anything. Rex Harrison didn't win anything. Rock Hudson didn't win anything. Marcelo Mastriano didn't win anything. There's no joke here. It's part of the therapy that I got from my psychiatrist. <laughs> 
I never thought the day would come when I would wish I was Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Just my luck, my mother was a square. <laughs> Alan Bates was nominated for The Fixer, that thrilling movie about Crosby's makeup man. <laughs> No, I think I've just about had it with the Academy. You know that picture, the Planet of the Apes? Well, the apes got it for best costume. <laughs> That's true. Too bad my brother George didn't get into the movie. He's got more hair in his chest than any ape in the picture. <laughs> and Joan Woodward shouldn't feel angry about Paul Newman not getting a director's nomination for Rachel Rachel. Look at Romeo and Juliet. Did anyone see Shakespeare getting nominated for best story in screenplay? <laughs> What is the Academy gonna stop ignoring Shakespeare and me? <laughs> and six nominations for Funny Girl and none for me. Is it my fault because my nose took the wrong off ramp? <laughs> I've just finished a picture with Jackie Gleason. It's called The Goodyear Blimp Does Its Thing. <laughs> I love the part. I may get an award for the best supporting bartender. <laughs> Actually, it's called How to Commit Marriage. It's a new concept in films. We all wear clothes. <laughs> and I have another boat and it'll make you feel real good. President Nixon's European trip is now 100% successful. The president just checked and he got back from France with all his gold fillings. <laughs> No, it was a record-breaking tour for an American. He visited five foreign countries, didn't lend him a dime. <laughs> Here's that sucking fellow texture. And did you see that picture of President Nixon lunching with Queen Elizabeth in Buckingham Palace? They were using the same solid gold plates that they used when I lunched at the palace. Only this time, they weren't chained to the table. <laughs> President Nixon spent a whole afternoon with General de Gaulle. That was all the time de Gaulle could spare because he had to be back on his pedestal at Notre Dame. <laughs> now, Nixon brought de Gaulle a very thoughtful gift, a case of 20-year-old prune juice. <laughs> but they got along famously. Nixon told de Gaulle what a great man he was, and de Gaulle told Nixon what a great man de Gaulle was. <laughs> And then de Gaulle loaned Nixon his car. You could tell it was de Gaulle's instead of jump seats that had an altar. <laughs> At the Berlin Wall, President Nixon told the crowds he was of German descent. The mayor of East Berlin hollered over, very interesting. Got any relatives living on this side? <laughs> From the start to the finish of the trip, Nixon displayed a, displayed a fabulous memory for names and faces. He really did. He walked up to one dignitary that no one could recall ever having seen before, and he said, don't tell me, Spiro Agnew, isn't it? <laughs> no, Spiro was very good handling the country while Nixon was away. In fact, he didn't fall on his face until Dick came back. <laughs> now, he slipped at the airport on some ice the Democrats left behind. <laughs> Nixon looked down and said, what devotion? He's prostrating himself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Places, everybody. We're on the air in five seconds. Ready, Joni? Ready. Okay, action! <laughs> How do you like our new optional sunroof? It's just one of the many reasons Dodge Charger sales have soared over 40% this year. Why, no sooner do we get them in than... Well, sir, sir, you can't take that car! Keep talking. Go to the Charger RT. Do you realize that Charger RT beat all other 60 entries to become the Union Pure Oil Acceleration Champ? I say, would you mind, old please? Sir, come back with that. Joni! Use the one over there. It's a white hat special. Charger white hat special. Specially equipped at a special low price. Why, it'll save you more than Say, any other. Hey, ma'am, that's right pretty. Thank you, I'll take it. <laughs> Before they're all gone, better get your 69 Dodge Charger. That one was nice. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> from our correspondents in combat zones around the world. Here on the campus of the University of Confrontation today, a group of collegiate guerrillas announced the capture of the library, the home Eck building, and one drinking fountain. <laughs> and here on the campus at Nebula State, the Crimson Tide claims a new intercollegiate record. They jammed 73 faculty members into one phone booth. <laughs> now let's go to the dean's office at Rumble University, where the governor of the state is making an important announcement to the press. Gentlemen of the press, as you know, at 9 o'clock this morning, I appointed a new president of the university. It is now uh, 10 o'clock, time to appoint another one. <laughs> I want you to meet our new president, the two-fisted, fearless man of steel. I ain't coming out till the shooting stops. <laughs> May I present the internationally famous educator and patron of the arts, Dr. Sigmund Sayakawa Durante. What was your school, Dr. Durante? Grimmauld. 
Bryn Mawr. That's a girls' school. Well, I wanted a liberal education. <laughs> Are you going to give the students amnesty? Certainly not. Let them smoke regular cigarettes. <laughs> We've had students scribbling obscene words on school property. What do you think of graffiti? I consider it one of the greatest operas ever written. <laughs> Four, four times, and you can quote me on that. Yes. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I think it's about time we should let this man go to work. If you'll excuse us, please. Thank yes, you very much. You're lucky in the house. Thank you, man. Yes, thank yes, you. Man. Thank you. Yes, All right, sir. Don't forget. By the way, sir, let me know if there's anything you may need. Governor? Yes, sir. All we need is neutral understanding. Yes. Peace and brotherhood between us and the students. <laughs> But keep them Sherman tanks ready. <laughs> oh, yes. Good luck now, Doctor. Remember now, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. And don't worry, ain't nobody gonna interstimulate me. <laughs> Surrounded by a satin. <laughs> Tiny Tim, eat your heart out. <laughs> In the name of Allen Ginsberg, Andy Warhol, and Ann Margaret, I claim this office. <laughs> talk. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> Shall I tell him or just cash in on the fringe benefit? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're the president? In person? <laughs> well, I can't believe it. I've seen more likely candidates on a John Lennon album cover. <laughs> I will thank you to remove your whereabouts from my whence about. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not leaving until you meet all our demands. <laughs> okay, what are they? Well, here's a few of them. <laughs> are these your demands? Or are you selling wallpaper? <laughs> well, first we demand a change in curriculum. Watch your language. The Smothers Brothers may be watching. <laughs> Second, we demand black and white studies. All right. All right, but most people are buying color sets. <laughs> Third, we want weekdays off and weekends off. And on how... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You kids got to learn to be patient. You know, it's a long, long time from May to December. And the days grow short when you reach September. <laughs> If Joan Baez is listening, she'll throw up, I'll tell you that. <laughs> What's the matter with you people? Aren't you satisfied? Don't you have enough? You should talk standing there with your horn of plenty. <laughs> Stick that in a bun with mustard and I'll take it. <laughs> is that your nose or is your face holding a freak in? <laughs> of superior weaponry, I may have to surrender. Would be awful if these things grew together. <laughs> you might as well surrender because we're going to stay here until you agree that we can have a viable dialogue. It's all right with me, as long as it's housebroken. <laughs> it's like ad living with a frog. That's, uh, <laughs> that's irrelevant. No, irrelevant eats peanuts. <laughs> 
A, 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 a relevant, a relevant each. Well, you forget the line again, huh? <laughs> a relevant, huh? That's my line. Let me get the line. Out. A relevant, huh? If you don't want to wait for me, don't wait. <laughs> He's backing away so I can breathe. Oh, a relevant, huh? cleaner at one end, and very little responsibility on the other. <laughs> the Red Cross in the house. <laughs> and they wonder why we're rioting. It's the joke gap. Listen, you won't listen to reason, so I'm going to have the police throw you up. Wait a minute. You're not going any place. Listen. There's nothing that can keep me here. Nothing. No? Take no. care of the girls right there. Listen, we're gonna kiss you until you close the school down. <laughs> the school is still open. Okay. <laughs> Torture will get you nowhere. <laughs> I hope the boys from the Pueblo are watching. <laughs> This is better than being burned in effigy. <laughs> well, have you had enough? Are you going to close it down? I'll never quit. Not while I got a lip left. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think she's ready to graduate. <laughs> hey, Buzz! The Buzz! Oh. Buzz. Okay, Bellbottom, let's go. Stay where you are. One more step and I'll let him have it. <laughs> what can I do? I'm irresistible. <laughs> Follow me, girls. I'll do my struggle. <laughs> I'm going to write down you go to town with a bird. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When we came in here, they were revolutionaries. Now they're pussycats. What did you do to these girls? I blew in their ear. Now they'll follow me anywhere. <laughs> Nine of them? I hope Medicare covers this. <laughs> I'll do my work. You hear that? They're putting together the new Dodge Dart White Hat Special. Talk about big deals. What side lady coming through? Well, you get a giant package of special features at the biggest savings ever. There's even a bigger choice of vinyl roof colors. White, black, green, or tan. All your favorite extras are going into this one, including the most popular feature of all. A special low package price. How's it going, fellas? Well, let's see. Vinyl roof. A remote control mirror, fender mounted turn signal, white side walls, special wheel covers, bumper guards, special low price checks. Okay, lady, that's it. There it is. $69 white hat special. Special savings on a, on a giant package of special features. See it now at your Dodge dealers. Good night, lady. Lovely Sid Charisse.
That's a mighty strange critter you're riding, stranger. <laughs> well, it happens to be my business. I'm a frontier psychiatrist. <laughs> you? People lie down for me, too. <laughs> Only difference is they don't get up. Are uh, you aiming to draw? No, I'm just waiting for my nail polish to dry. <laughs> Would you like to lie down and tell me all about it? Yeah, I'll be your gift. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel guilty lying here without my horse. <laughs> now I know what they mean by togetherness. <laughs> all my life, I've been a gunslinger. I'm sick of the killing and fighting and shooting. But I can't quit. I get my bullets wholesale. <laughs> Fool with me. I'm rough and tough, and nobody bluffs me because I can see right through them. And if you can't see through them? I make little holes in them and I peek. <laughs> The brothers and sisters you never could beat Did you always feel you didn't belong? Gunslinger You killed 130 men, my darling And now you'd like to settle down But other gunslingers Just an attention getting device. Young <laughs> slinger. Wait a minute. Look, I don't know too much about this here psychoanalysis, but I don't think we should both be on the couch at the same time. Don't be silly. Your host won't get jealous. <laughs> Head shrinker, head shrinker, where did you go wrong? Just before you were born, was your ma overjoyed? Or was she frightened by Sigmund Freud? You always feel naked without any beard. Head shrinker. Oh, you hung out your shingle and you're ready to go. Head shrinker. And now you think you got it. And lied down, but then he yelled, ouch, and you suddenly realized you needed a couch head shrinker. The dreams have all been analyzed, head shrinker. The kooks and weirdo patients all are gone. Now you suspect it's silly to boast Cause you got the head that needs shrinking the most Head shrinker Wait a minute You can't talk to me that way Draw Draw, don't be a fool, girl I'm quick on a trigger <laughs> <laughs> There's a trigger right there, see it? <laughs> oh! 
Faced and killed the toughest hombres of my day. <laughs> But time has exposed your feet of clay. Current researchers have clearly shown that 93.6% of the gunmen you killed were simply accident prone. <laughs> well, gee, where? <laughs> We'll try any trick to find out how we do it. Yeah, it's competition. That's who we work for, you ding dong. It's the Dodge Coronet White Hat Special. Special features, special low price. Man, that's a big chick. Why, the vinyl roof alone will sweep you right off your feet. Over here, a remote control mirror. Got a mask? Huh? Oh, sure. Whoa! Get white sidewalls, special wheel covers, bumper guards, front and rear. Hey, huh? We're quiet in here. Yeah, too quiet. Dodge Coronet. So many savings, we can't cover everything. Hey, man, mm -hmm. what happened? Mm -hmm. Coronet White Hat Special. See to Dodge dealers. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite albums is called The Genius of Ray Charles. Ray Charles is just that. He writes, he arranges, he plays, and he sings, and he does them all superbly. He won his first Grammy Award in 1960, and he's knocked off six more in as many years. He was one of the leaders of it all. Rock and roll, rhythm and blues, country and western, and soul. He sings it like it is, and you know he means it, and that's what grabs you. Here he is, Mr. Ray Charles. Well, Ray, you're really looking great. Why, thank you, Bob. And may I say, you look pretty groovy yourself. <laughs> yeah, but how can you say I look good? With a clear conscience. <laughs> you know, Ray, nobody handles the song quite the way you do. You're absolutely unique. Well, Bob, I do my own thing in my own way, and I hope the people like it. After all, I try for 100%, and I'm happy if I get 85. To me, integrity is more important than money. Really? Well, you may be a regular on this show. <laughs> Say, Bob, do you make records? Oh, sure. They press thousands of them. Really? Why aren't they in the record shops? Well, uh... Where are they? Well, what do you think Chrysler's using for hubcaps? <laughs> I understand you were hit on television when you were only 17 years old. Well, I was a novelty. Back in those days, that was Duke Ellington, Count Basie, and Nat King Cole. And I was the first of the commoners. I know how you feel. The nearest I ever got to a crown was eating margarine. You see, Bob, my trio sounded a lot like the late Nat King Cole's. But I knew if I was going to ever get anywhere, I'd have to develop my own style. Oh, so you split from the group and developed your own bag. Oh, you talk funny. <laughs> Ray, I hear you have your own plane, is that right? That's right. Well, don't you like commercial airlines? Yeah, but I'm tired of going to Cuba. <laughs> you fly a lot, Bob. You know how it is. Yeah, I sure do. There isn't a seat on United Airlines I haven't been under. <laughs> What kind of a plane do you have? Uh, I don't know. Well, how many engines does it have? 
You see, Bob, Joe Adams handles all that sort of thing, and I, I, I just don't uh, know about it too much. Well, uh, how many stewardesses do you have on board? Oh, 17. <laughs> 17 stewardesses? Isn't that kind of crowded? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Ray Charles, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I think about the bright lights, I think about you, girl. Hollywood, startup, fame. Yeah, that's you, girl. Success was your demand You didn't want it at its bad So every time I think about the bright lights I'll think about you, girl Mini skirts, frilly curls, pretty face Ah, that's you, girl huh? Nighttime gigs with the Hollywood set Yeah, that's you, girl Right back home you come So every time I think about the bright lights I'll think about you, special wheel covers and so many more this is one white hat that's just brimming over with savings ready to see the real thing here it is 1969 dodge polaro white hat special see it at your dodge dealer he'll give you the whole picture ladies and gentlemen the entire country is deeply concerned with the problem of overweight it is estimated that 50% of the adult population is on a diet of some sort. Tonight, we take you to a meeting of one of the few organizations which has had any success in this dramatic problem, the Waste Watchers. Good evening, fellow flesh shrinkers. Welcome to our weekly meeting of Waste Watchers. 
In the past week, our own San Fernando Valley chapter has lost a grand total of 950 pounds. Yay! Yay! Tonight, we're happy to welcome two new members. They, they phoned from the lobby. Won't you come in, please? <laughs> Don't stand there, get a can opener. <laughs> Come out sideways. I don't have any sideways. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you before? Every time I forget to butter my hips. <laughs> Hello? No, operator, I'm not stealing. I got, I got stuck in it. I'm sorry, I can't do that. No, but if you'll give me your name and address, I'll mail you the booth. <laughs> Fellas, would you help here? And now let's have a real Waste Watchers welcome for our second new member. Come in, please. <laughs> Yeah, take off your hat and rocking chair. <laughs> Thank goodness. I thought I was being followed. Welcome to Waste Watchers. Now, I'm Harvey Nonage, and this is Herman Blubber. <laughs> I'm Janet Jumbo. I'm from Texas. Are you sure you didn't bring it with you? <laughs> Are you related to the Fort Worth Jumbos or the Houston Astrodomes? You're cute. Uh, you know, you're the kind of pet I've always wanted stuffed. But you uh, beat me to it. <laughs> now, the first thing we learn is confession is good for the fat soul. Tell your fellow members your problems. Well, it may surprise you to know this, but I never eat between meals. And I only have one meal a day. However, it's continuous. <laughs> See, I started out looking for harmless kicks. You know, Tootsie Rolls, marshmallow creams, and then I went on to the hard stuff. Peanut brittle. Well, I was born fat. When the doctor slapped me, I didn't feel it for three months. <laughs> yeah, but things will be different in the future. <laughs> now, you all have your diet book. So until we meet again next week, let us rise and repeat the Waste Watchers Oath. All right, please. Herman, you may lead us. Oh, thank you. On my honor, on my honor. I will do my best, I will do my best to, bring peace and freedom to bring peace and freedom to the thin person trapped inside of me. <laughs> I promise to turn off my mouth between meals. I promise to turn off my mouth between meals. And greps very little. <laughs> if I get up in the middle of the night, I promise to go to the bathroom, not the icebox. <laughs> And if I break this solemn pledge, and if I break this solemn pledge, may I wind up in a salami factory with a bad case of lockjaw. Good night, all. Good night. See you all next week. You remember, think thin. <laughs> always been fat? No, 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 I... Once I weighed 110 pounds. When was that? Well, when I was born. <laughs> Stork wound up with a double hernia. I was the only baby in Cleveland delivered by North American van lines. Gosh, we have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. I knew right away we were meant for each other. You mean it was love at first sight? Well, no, I couldn't see all of you at first sight. Well, may I just lay a, 
One little kiss on you. Oh. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> They're playing our song again. <laughs> I love working in the round. <laughs> Where's Western Union when you need them? You know, we could kiss if you take off a few hundred pounds. Well, why do you blame it on me? Why don't you have your lips stretched a bit? Now, why don't we sit down and talk this over like two mature people? Okay. Come, sit on my lap. Well, I can't. You're sitting on it. <laughs> Thought it felt kind of crowded. I'm going to take off 200 pounds, and you do the same, and I'll marry you. You will? Oh, this town ain't big enough for the two of a stranger. <laughs> One of us has got to go. You don't? Do you hear me, Jackie? Oh, how wonderful. You found yourself. Pardon? You have found yourself. Not yet, but I know I'm in here somewhere. Mr. Blower. Good luck, newlyweds. <laughs> ah, alone at last. Come here, you gorgeous thing. <laughs> Me, we're both gorgeous as we took them. <laughs> Darling! Don't forget your waist watchers. Oh. Mm, I can't help it. I'm hungry. Well, don't worry, darling. Now, I've ordered a special low-cal wedding dinner just for us. Oh. Now, just sit right there. We have breast of parsley, hearts of artichoke, and filet of rye crisp. <laughs> oh, yes, and my favorite dessert, the juice of two poly seeds. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trimming the fat. <laughs> it's good for you, dear. It's full of iron. Yes, I thought it looked rusty. <laughs> What's this? It looks like crabgrass. Well, it is crabgrass. Crabgrass is very slimming. How do you know? Well, have you ever seen a fat lawn? <laughs> Herman. Huh? How could you? Just married, and you've already been unfaithful to me. Now, how can you explain this? <laughs> fat worms? <laughs> you ate the fish. There's tartar sauce on your breath. Yes, I ate it. I'm starved, and I'll eat anything. I'll eat that. I'll eat the wood. Here's your dinner, sir. Room 907. Oh, you have the wrong room. Yeah, but the right person. I'll take this for an appetizer. Give me that turkey. Yeah, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> what will I tell room 907? Tell him it flew back to Capistrano. It's mine, you hear? I got it. <laughs> Don't give up everything for one fleeting moment of happiness. If anybody tries to stop me from eating this, I'll jump. What floor are we on? The 22nd. Oh, good. I could finish it before I hit. <laughs> what about me? Uh, get your own turkey. Before you jump, sir, would you sign the check? <laughs> okay, but I'm not paying for room service out here. I'll What's going you. on here? What the... Look here, sir. We do not allow cooking in the room. <laughs> hey, buddy. Now, I'm warning you. If you jump, you're going to be sorry. Sorry? Why? Nobody likes a litter bug. Would you like to lend me your head? They forgot to stuff this turkey. <laughs> Mr. Blubber, NBC here. Are you going to jump or, or not? Yes, I am. Well, could you wait till 7.30? 7.30? What for? Then you can do it on prime time. <laughs> would get a better rating. Well, have you ever jumped before? No, I haven't. Uh, then that is your real nose. <laughs> Take my hand. We'll go family uh, plan. No, no, no. 
Oh, by the way, when you go, would you strap this Timex to your turkey? <laughs> hey, what are you doing out here? I belong here. You're not only my husband, you're a fellow waste washer. When a member is in trouble, we come and we, we stick together. Yeah. If you go, I go with you. And if you eat the turkey, I eat it with you. Oh, no, you don't. No one's going to take this turkey away from me. This is my turkey. I fought for it, and nobody just... Nobody. <laughs> How do you like that? Now they're hijacking the Vatican City. Meet Grit Reed by day, hard-working cowboy. I'm a hard-working cowboy. And his faithful companion, Sport Truck. This is my faithful companion, Sport Truck. But when night falls, they become the Dodge Adventurers. Get them up, Sport Truck. There's boredom in River City. Perhaps my optional bucket seats, power steering, air conditioning will identify me. Aren't you the Dodge Adventurer? My secret's out. Come on, girl. We've still got time to swing. Smooth. Just like my sport truck's cushion beam suspension. Will I see you tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'll be a hard-working cowboy. Dodge Adventure by day, hard working pickup by night, who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us tonight for our hour with Sid Charisse, Ray Charles, Jimmy Durante, and Nancy Sinatra. Stick around for a great special next on NBC. Andy Williams' love concert with Donovan, the Ike and Tina Turner Review, the Smother Brothers, and Jose Feliciano. Sounds like the Cashmere Kid has a great lineup. Les? You know, this is just about the season for Easter seals. They're only a little piece of paper with some glue on the back, but they do a tremendous job. They help cripple children to walk, send them to summer camp, teach them to swim. They buy speech therapy, wheelchairs and braces for kids who need them. Be thankful you don't. And show it by your purchase of Easter seals. Good night. Dart hardtop, and that includes head restraints. And just check these figures. Get a big 273 cubic inch V8, and more room and comfort than you'd ever expect in a compact. Now add the kind of economy you've always wanted. In fact, a Swinger 6 was the Union Pure Oil economy champ, with 24 miles per gallon, and it's all priced a lot less than last year. It's no wonder Dart Swinger is our hottest selling new car this year. Dart Swinger for 1969. It all adds up to the biggest value in town. you enjoy this hour of entertainment from Chrysler Corporation, makers of Plymouth, Dodge, Chrysler, Imperial, 
Dodge Trucks, Simca, and Sunbeam Automobiles. Chrysler Corporation. This is Frank Barton inviting you to stay tuned to Andy's Love Concert next over most of these same NBC stations. Nixon brought to Gaul a very thoughtful gift, a case of 20-year-old prune juice. <laughs> they got along famously. Nixon told de Gaulle what a great man he was, and de Gaulle told Nixon what a great man de Gaulle was. <laughs> and then de Gaulle loaned Nixon his car. You could tell it was de Gaulle's instead of jump seats that had an altar. <laughs> At the Berlin Wall, President Nixon told the crowds he was of German descent. The mayor of East Berlin hollered over, very interesting. Got any relatives living on this side? <laughs> From the start to the finish of the trip, Nixon displayed a, displayed a fabulous memory for names and faces. He really did. He walked up to one dignitary that no one could recall ever having seen before, and he said, don't tell me. Spiro Agnew, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, Spiro was very good handling the country while Nixon was away. In fact, he didn't fall on his face until Dick came back. <laughs> now, he slipped at the airport on some ice the Democrats left behind. <laughs> Nixon looked down and said, what devotion, he's prostrating himself. <laughs> everybody. We're on the air in five seconds. Ready, Joni? Ready. Okay, action! Hi. How do you like our new optional sunroof? It's just one of the many reasons Dodge Charger sales have soared over 40% this year. Why, no sooner do we get them in than... Well, sir, sir, you can't take that car! Keep talking. Go to the Charger RT. Do you realize that Charger RT beat all other 60 entries to become the Union Pure Oil Acceleration Champ? I say, would you mind, Oakley? Sir, come back with that. Show me. Use the one over there. It's a white hat special. Charger white hat special. Specially equipped at a special low price. Why, it'll save you more than say, any other. Hey, ma'am, that's right pretty. Thank you, I'll take it. What? what? Before they're all gone, better get your 69 Dodge Charger. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nancy Sinatra. From eating this, I'll jump. What floor are we on? The 22nd. Oh, good. I could finish it before I hit. <laughs> what about me? I get your own turkey. Before you jump, sir, would you sign the check? <laughs> okay, but I'm not paying for room service out here. What's I'll going you. on here? What the... Look here, sir. We do not allow cooking in the room. <laughs> hey, buddy. Now, I'm warning you. If you jump, you're gonna be sorry. Sorry, why? Nobody likes a litter bug. <laughs> Would you like to lend me your head? They forgot to stuff this turkey. <laughs> Mr. Blubber, 
NBC here. Are you going to jump or, or not? Yes, I am. Well, could you wait till 7.30? 7.30? What for? Then you can do it on prime time. <laughs> I would get a better rating. Well, have you ever jumped before? No, I haven't. Uh, then that is your real nose. <laughs> Take my hand, we'll go family uh, plan. No, 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 no. <coughs> oh, by the way, when you go, would you strap this Timex to your turkey? <laughs> hey, what are you doing out here? I belong here. You're not only my husband, you're a fellow waste watcher. When a member is in trouble, we come and we, we stick together. Yeah. If you go, I go with you. And if you eat the turkey, I eat it with you. Oh, no, you don't. No one's going to take this turkey away from me. This is my turkey. I fought for it, and nobody just... Nobody. <laughs> How do you like that? Now they're hijacking the Vatican City. <laughs> Meet Grit Reed by day, hard-working cowboy. I'm a hard-working cowboy. And his faithful companion, Sport Truck. This is my faithful companion, Sport Truck. But when night falls, they become the Dodge Adventurers. Get them up, Sport Truck. There's boredom in River City. Who are you? Perhaps my optional bucket seats, power steering, air conditioning will identify me. Aren't you the Dodge Adventurer? My secret's out. Come on, girl. We've still got time to swing. Smooth. The Waste Watchers. Good evening, fellow flesh shrinkers. Welcome to our weekly meeting of Waste Watchers. In the past week, our own San Fernando Valley chapter has lost a grand total of 950 pounds. Yay! Tonight, we're happy to welcome two new members. They, they phoned from the lobby. Won't you come in, please? <laughs> Don't stand there. Get a can opener. Uh, come out sideways. I don't have any sideways. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you before? Every time I forget to butter my hips. <laughs> Hello? No, operator, I'm not stealing. I got, I got stuck in it. I'm sorry, I can't do that. No, but if you'll give me your name and address, I'll mail you the booth. <laughs> And now let's have a real Waste Watchers welcome for our second new member. Come in, please. Yeah, take off your hat and rocking chair. <laughs> Thank goodness. I thought I was being followed. Welcome to Waste Watchers. Now, I'm Harvey Nonage, and this is Herman Blubber. <laughs> I'm Janet Jumbo. I'm from Texas. Are you sure you didn't bring it with you? <laughs> Are you related to the Fort Worth Jumbos or the Houston Astrodomes? You're cute. Uh, you know, you're the kind of pet I've always wanted stuffed. But you uh, beat me to it. <laughs> now, the first thing we learn is confession is good for the fat soul. Tell your fellow members your problems. Well, it may surprise you to know this, but I never eat between meals. And I only have one meal a day. However, it's continuous. 
See, I started out looking for harmless kicks. You know, Tootsie Rolls. Don't forget your waist watches. Oh, mm, I can't help it. I'm hungry. Well, don't worry, darling. Now, I've ordered a special locale wedding dinner just for us. Oh. Now, just sit right there. We have breast of parsley, hearts of artichoke, and filet of rye crisp. <laughs> Oh, yes, and my favorite dessert, the juice of two poly seeds. What are you doing? I'm trimming the fat. It's good for you, dear. It's full of iron. Yes, I thought it looked rusty. What's this? It looks like crabgrass. Well, it is crabgrass. Crabgrass is very slimming. How do you know? Well, have you ever seen a fat lawn? <laughs> Huh? How could you? Just married, and you've already been unfaithful to me. Now, how can you explain this? Fat worms? You ate the fish. There's tartar sauce on your breath. Yes, I ate it. I'm starved, and I'll eat anything. I'll eat that. I'll eat the wood. Here's your dinner, sir. Room 907. Oh, you have the wrong room. Yeah, but the right person. I'll take this for an appetizer. Give me that turkey. Yeah, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> what will I tell room 907? Tell him it flew back to Capistrano. It's mine, you hear? I got it. <laughs> Don't give up everything for one fleeting moment of happiness. If anybody tries to stop me from eating this, I'll jump. What floor are we on? The 22nd. Oh, good. I could finish it before I hit. <laughs> Get your own turkey. Before you jump, sir, would you sign the check? <laughs> okay, but I'm not paying for room service out here. What's I'm going on here? What the... Look here, sir, we do not allow cooking in the rooms. <laughs> hey, buddy, now I'm warning you. If you jump, you're going to be sorry. Sorry, why? Nobody likes a litter bug. <laughs> Like to lend me your head, they forgot to stuff this turkey. <laughs> Mr. Blubber, NBC here. Are you gonna jump or, or not? Yes, I am. Well, could you wait till 7:30? 7:30? What for? Then you can do it on prime time. <laughs> I would get a better rating. Well, have you ever jumped before? No, I haven't. Then that is your real nose. <laughs> Take my hand. We'll go family uh, plan. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, a, a, a relevant, a relevant each. Well, you forget the line again, huh? <laughs> a relevant, uh, huh? That's my line. Let me get the line. Out. <laughs> a relevant, huh? If you don't want to wait for me, don't wait. <laughs> I'm just backing away so I can breathe. <laughs> Huh? Yes. Yes. It has a vacuum cleaner at one end and very little responsibility on the other. The Red Cross in the house. And they wonder why we're rioting. It's the joke gap. Listen, you won't listen to reason, so I'm gonna have the police show you up. Wait a minute. You're not going any place. Listen, there's nothing that can keep me here. Nothing. No? Take no. care of the girls right there. Listen, we're gonna kiss you until you close the school down. <laughs> the school is still open. Okay. <laughs> Thought you will get you nowhere. <laughs> I hope the boys from the Pueblo are watching. <laughs> Please look for me. <laughs> well, this is better than being burned in effigy. <laughs> well, have you had enough? Are you gonna close it down? I'll never quit. Not while I got a lip left. <laughs> I think she's ready to graduate. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, Bell Bottom, let's go. Stay where you are. One more step and I'll let him have it. <laughs> what can I do? I'm irresistible. <laughs> Follow me, girls. I'll do my struggle. In my struggle. <laughs> Get it right down when you go to town with the Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When we came in here, they were revolutionaries. Now they're pussycats. What did you do to these girls? I blew in their ear. Now they'll follow me anywhere. <laughs> Nine of them? I hope Medicare covers this. <laughs> I'll do much closer. No, 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 I... Once I weighed 110 pounds. When was that? Well, when I was born. <laughs> Stork wound up with a double hernia. I was the only baby in Cleveland delivered by North American van lines. Gosh, we have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. I knew right away we were meant for each other. You mean it was love at first sight? Well, no, I couldn't see all of you at first sight. <laughs> Well, may I just lay uh, one little kiss on you? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're playing our song again. <laughs> 
I love working in the round. <laughs> Where's Western Union when you need them? You know, we could kiss if you take off a few hundred pounds. Well, why do you blame it on me? Why don't you have your lips stretched a bit? <laughs> now, why don't we sit down and talk this over like two mature people? Okay. Come, sit on my lap. Well, I can't. You're sitting on it. <laughs> I thought it felt kind of crowded. I'm gonna take off 200 pounds, and you do the same, and I'll marry you. You will? Ah, oh, this town ain't big enough for the two of a stranger. <laughs> One of us has got to go. You don't? Do you hear me, Jackie? Oh, how wonderful. You found yourself. Pardon? You have found yourself. Not yet, but I know I'm in here somewhere. <laughs> Mr. Blower. Good luck, newlyweds. <laughs> ah, alone at last. Come here, you gorgeous thing. <laughs> Me, we're both gorgeous since we took them. <laughs> Don't! Don't forget your waist watchers. Oh. Mm, I can't help it. I'm hungry. Well, don't worry, darling. Now, I've ordered a special low-cal wedding dinner just for us. Oh. Now, just sit right there. We have breast of parsley. <laughs> like to get in on the biggest show in town? Picture yourself in this. A giant package of solid savings. Dodge Valero White Hat Special. Loaded with extras at a special low package price. For example, oops. An elegant vinyl roof in black, white, green, or tan. You get bumper guards, fender mounted turn signals, white sidewalls, and special wheel covers. And so many more. This is one white hat that's just brimming over with savings. Ready to see the real thing? Here it is, 1969 Dodge Polaro White Hat Special. See it at your Dodge dealer. He'll give you the whole picture. Ladies and gentlemen, the entire country is deeply concerned with the problem of overweight. It is estimated that 50% of the adult population is on a diet of some sort. Tonight, we take you to a meeting of one of the few organizations which has had any success in this dramatic problem, the Waste Watchers. Good evening, fellow flesh shrinkers. Welcome to our weekly meeting of Waste Watchers. In the past week, our own San Fernando Valley chapter has lost a grand total of 950 pounds. <laughs> Tonight, we're happy to welcome two new members. They, they phoned from the lobby. Won't you come in, please? <laughs> Don't stand there. Get a can opener. <laughs> Come out sideways. I don't have any sideways. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you before? Every time I forget to butter my hips. <laughs> Hello? No, operator, I'm not stealing. I got, I got stuck in it. I'm sorry, I can't do that. No, but if you'll give me your name and address, I'll mail you the booth. Fellas, <laughs> well, would you help here? If it ever happens, it will 
will be exciting. With all that oil in the water, we'll slide all the way to Hawaii. <laughs> One very religious man in Santa Monica has built an ark. He has two of everything, but he didn't know what to do when he came to Phyllis Diller. <clears throat> well, <laughs> for the jockeys out of Santa Anita last week, the whole world came to an end. A girl jockey won a race. Imagine that girl jockeys. Well, it's certainly gonna make the Daily Double a lot more interesting. <laughs> I guess they've been accepted. The racing form now has a centerfold. <laughs> in her first race in the starting gate, her horse turned to the one in the next gate and said, hey, Harry, look on my back and tell me what's it look like. <laughs> and Harry the horse said, well, Charlie, all I can tell you is that it's wearing lipstick earrings and carrying a purse. And Charlie said, uh oh, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> the other day at Santa Anita, the announcer yelled, they're off, and the girl jockey wouldn't come out of the gate. <laughs> Incidentally, if I look a little green, it isn't because of St. Patrick's Day, the Oscar nominations are out. Yes, the Oscar nominations are out, so I know what I'm giving up for Lent. <laughs> I must be getting used to getting left out because I just glanced casually down the list in the paper with no emotion whatsoever. Then my kids bawled me out for getting Charlie Brown all wet. <laughs> no, really, I, I don't feel too bad because a lot of great actors were left out. Gregory Peck, Marlon Brando, Paul Newman, Spiro Agnew, Everett Dirksen. <laughs> no, Cary Grant didn't win anything. Rex Harrison didn't win anything. Rock Hudson didn't win anything. Marcelo Mastriano didn't win anything. There's no joke here. It's part of the therapy that I got from my psychiatrist. <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I would wish I was Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Just my luck, my mother was a square. <laughs> Alan Bates was nominated for The Fixer, that thrilling movie about Crosby's makeup man. <laughs> No, I think I've just about had it with the Academy. You know that picture, the Planet of the Apes? Well, the apes got it for best costume. <laughs> That's true. Too bad my brother George didn't get into the movie. He's got more hair in his chest than any ape in the picture. <laughs> and Joan Woodward shouldn't feel angry about Paul Newman not getting a director's nomination for Rachel Rachel. Look at Romeo and Juliet. Did anyone see Shakespeare getting nominated for best story in screenplay? <laughs> What is the Academy going to stop ignoring Shakespeare and me? <laughs> I remember when we were children playing in the fields. I loved you truly even then, and you know I always will. Climbing over creek banks down by the cotton gin Chasing papa's billy goat and tearing my petticoat You cried when I got a whipping You cried when my puppy died Just because I cried Behind me 
907. Oh, you have the wrong room. Yeah, but the right person. I'll take this for an appetizer. Give me that turkey. Yeah, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> what will I tell room 907? Tell him it flew back to Capistrano. It's mine, here. I got it. Harry, don't give up everything for one fleeting moment of happiness. If anybody tries to stop me from eating this, I'll jump. What floor are we on? The 22nd. Oh, good. I could finish it before I hit. <laughs> Get your own turkey. Before you jump, sir, would you sign the check? <laughs> okay, but I'm not paying for room service out here. What's I'll tell you. going on here? What the... Look here, sir, we do not allow cooking in the room. <laughs> hey, buddy, now I'm warning you. If you jump, you're going to be sorry. Sorry, why? Nobody likes a litter bug. <laughs> Like to lend me your head, they forgot to stuff this turkey. <laughs> Mr. Blubber, NBC here. Are you gonna jump or, or not? Yes, I am. Well, could you wait till 7:30? 7:30? What for? Then you can do it on prime time. <laughs> I would get a better rating. Well, have you ever jumped before? No, I haven't. Then that is your real nose. <laughs> Take my hand. We'll go family uh, plan. No, 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 no. Oh, by the way, when you go, would you strap this Timex to your turkey? <laughs> hey, what are you doing out here? I belong here. You're not only my husband, you're a fellow waste watcher. When a member is in trouble, we come and we, we stick together. Yeah. If you go, I go with you. And if you eat the turkey, I eat it with you. Oh, no, you don't. No one's going to take this turkey away from me. This is my turkey. I fought for it, and nobody just... Nobody. <laughs> How do you like that? Now they're hijacking the Vatican City. <laughs> Meet Grit Reed by day, hard-working cowboy. I'm a hard-working cowboy. And his faithful companion, Sport Truck. This is my faithful companion, Sport Truck. But when night falls, they become the Dodge Adventurers. Get them up, Sport Truck. There's boredom in River City. Perhaps my optional bucket seats, power steering, air conditioning will identify me. Aren't you the Dodge Adventure? The music hall will not be presented, so we may bring you a Bob Hope comedy special. Now, a special program in living color on NBC. Alphabetical order, Sid Charisse, Ray Charles, Jenny Durante, Nancy Sinatra, and Les Brown and his band of renown. An hour of entertainment from Chrysler Corporation, makers of Plymouth.
Dodge, Chrysler, Imperial, Dodge Trucks, Simca, and Sunbeam Automobile. Chrysler Corporation. And now, here is the star of our show, Bob Hope. By the way, tonight we're coming to you from beautiful downtown Pasadena. <laughs> That'll teach NBC to build on a mudslide in Burbank. <laughs> this is really a special. California just fell in the ocean and King Kong is holding me above the water. <laughs> a well-known clairvoyant, Jean Dixon, predicts California is going to disappear in a flood. Personally, I think she has a leak in her crystal ball. <laughs> Did you know that she predicted that California will fall into the ocean next month? How will they be able to tell? <laughs> now we know what Howard Hughes is doing. He wants a seaport. <laughs> but people are preparing just in case. Chicken Delight just hired 50 skin divers. <laughs> Mickey Rooney bought a pair of elevator flippers. <laughs> and Ralph Williams is selling used U-boats. <laughs> no, if it ever happens, it will be exciting. With all that oil in the water, we'll slide all the way to a lot. Here's where a lot less money buys a lot more car. It's the 1969 Dart Swinger two-door hardtop, and it's priced. A full $182 less than last year's lowest priced Dart hardtop. And that includes head restraints. And just check these figures. Get a big 273 cubic inch V8. And more room and comfort than you'd ever expect in a compact. Now add the kind of economy you've always wanted. In fact, a Swinger 6 was the Union Pure Oil economy champ. 24 miles per gallon, and it's all priced a lot less than last year. It's no wonder Dart Swinger is our hottest selling new car this year. Dart Swinger for 1969. It all adds up to the biggest value in town. you've enjoyed this hour of entertainment from Chrysler Corporation, makers of Plymouth, Dodge, Chrysler, Imperial, Dodge Trucks, Simca, and Sunbeam Automobile. Chrysler Corporation, this is Frank Barton inviting you to stay tuned to Andy's Love Concert next over most of these same NBC stations.